Mr. President, over the next hour, you'll hear from a group of senators speaking in support of the hundreds of thousands of workers and retirees across the country at risk of losing their pensions. We're here once again calling on Congress to enact pension legislation before it's too late. I thank Senator Baldwin for helping me organize this block of floor speeches, and I want to thank Senators Heidkamp and Manchin and Klobuchar and Casey and Peters for their participation today and for their years of hard work in search of a solution. I also want to recognize my friend and colleague, Senator Brown, for his tireless leadership on this issue. If we don't act soon, in my home state of Indiana, nearly 22,000 Teamsters and 2,700 mine workers could face significant pension cuts. And they're not alone. There's nearly 150 multi-employer pension plans listed by the United States Department of Labor as in critical or endangered status. The failure of those plans would likely lead to the collapse of the Federal Pension Insurance Program, the PBGC, Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. Over the last several years, I, along with a number of my colleagues, have been calling on the Senate to take action. I helped introduce the Butch Lewis Act, which puts pension plans on solid footing through a new financing option, and also helped introduce the Miners Pension Protection Act, which would ensure the solvency of the United Mine Workers of America pension plan. I've met with Hoosier pension beneficiaries countless times to hear their stories, including hundreds of Teamsters at Local 135 in Indianapolis and dozens of mine workers in Oakland City. Additionally, I've hosted bipartisan meetings and spoken with the current and previous administrations to push for action now. Though I wish legislation had already been enacted, Congress did create a joint select committee earlier this year to hopefully craft a legislative solution by the end of the year. That's why I'm here, to continue shining a light on this important issue and to push for a solution. This issue has significant real-life implications for the thousands of Hoosiers who are affected by it. Don't take my word for it. Listen to the heartfelt words of my constituents. Rex and Christine in Fort Wayne, Indiana wrote, we both worked really hard for a combined number of 48 years. And now to be faced with the possibility of elimination or reduction of our pensions through no fault of our own would severely impact our peace of mind and quality of life. A promise is a promise. And we as retirees need these promises to be honored. Randy, who's a retiree and Teamster since 1972 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, wrote, my entire working career, I was promised what I would earn from my pension. Now I'm 65 years old and I have health issues. I need your help to pass the Butch Lewis Act of 2017. That way, we can all live the rest of our years with dignity and respect without becoming a burden to anyone. Stephen, Stephen's a Marine veteran from Columbia City, Indiana. He served from 1971 through 1974. He wrote, without my pension, Social Security is my only income. We're not asking for a handout, only what most of us worked 30 years for. We earned our pension, and as a member of Central States Pension Fund, the government was already watching over our funds. What happened? Not many of us have anything else to live on. I am 66 years old and cannot replace a lost pension. Elizabeth from Fort Wayne wrote, my husband and I are both drawing a pension from Central States. Together we work 45 years without employer contribution to the pension fund. During this time, 
We sacrificed a lot, a lot in hourly wages, so our company could contribute to our pension. Since retiring, my husband suffered a heart attack and had two knee surgeries. It would be very difficult for him to find work that would replace the lost income if we no longer have our pensions. Russell, who's from Yoder, Indiana, wrote, without my pension, it becomes much more difficult to buy groceries, to pay for our medicine. My wife and I are both 81 years old. I paid into the pension fund for 41 years. I ask you to protect your constituents by urging the leadership to include the Butch Lewis Act in the agenda. David, who's also from Fort Wayne, wrote, we planned on having this pension for 30 years. All those years I worked hard. I paid my dues. I thought I'd be able to secure my family's ability to relax and enjoy retirement and not have to worry about every penny that was spent. This is not cheap and it cuts into our social security. Our pension helps absorb these added costs for our household money, and it's not extra money. Nelson, who's from Andrews, Indiana, wrote, I started driving a truck in 1957. Since that time, I've driven well over 3.2 million accident-free miles. Now my wife and I, we rely on my pension for basic living expenses and to cover medical expenses. If my pension is cut, we won't be able to make ends meet. We urgently need your help to protect us. Rex and Christine, Randy, Stephen, Elizabeth, Russell, David, and Nelson, they all earned their pensions. And they're just a small representation of the thousands of working families, and everyone has their own story, who are depending on us to do our job and act. They don't want a handout. That's not the American way, it's not the Hoosier way. They did their part. Now it's time for us to help make good on what they were promised. They don't care about politics. They don't want anything to do with partisanship. They just want us to fix this. That's part of why we were sent here, to solve problems. And it's time to solve this problem now. Let's reach a solution that allows American workers to retire with the financial security they expected and the financial security they earned. Thank you, Mr. President.